You mentioned in your book that Ian McGilchrist, the British uh, psychiatrist and neuroscientist, thinks that AI should stand for, and I quote, artificial information processing and not artificial intelligence. Uh, yes. Can you explain I, further what do you exactly mean by well, that? Well, I think that's reasonable. I think one of the problems is um, that we anthropomorphize this particular uh, space uh, very much, and it is very misleading. Way back at the beginning of artificial intelligence, as you may recall from my book, mm -hmm. I mention an article that was written by one of the pioneers, Joseph McRae Mellichamp, mm -hmm. and whom I've met. And he wrote an article with the lovely title, The Artificial in Artificial Intelligence is Real. In other words, the word artificial in the phrase artificial intelligence is real. It's not real intelligence. And the problem is many people think it is, so that you have to explain to them, going back to Alan Turing at the imitation game, that leading AI researchers like Peter Norvig and so on are not trying to make intelligence. What they're trying to do is very effectively play the simulation game and simulate human intelligence. And they're quite happy with that. So that using their use of the word artificial intelligence is actually describing simulated intelligence. And a lot of it is, as McGiltris says, information processing. And I think he has a point because the more we use words that we normally restrict to humans, like learning and machine learning, mm -hmm. the more we confuse the situation so that people don't realize that what's in front of us is a computer that does not think in the way humans think at all. Okay, I see. 